Assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to technology explore my name is Usman Chaudhary and in this video I am going to do a simple flow simulation on this Kaplan turbine so keep watching this video till end first of all click on the feature manager tree here and then click on this arrow options then add-ins scroll down from here check this box solid bulbs flow simulation 2016 and press ok button i had designed this kaplan turbine for uh, sheldon aminzade and uh, he want to 3d print it so here you can see we had uh, a flow simulation tab click on it and then select wizard so name your project here kaplan turbine and then hit next in this page define the unit system so I am going to use SIO standard international system international double click on it and then hit next then define uh, whether you are doing external or internal uh, flow simulation so I am going to use external flow simulation check these box uh, cavities and internal space then check this box rotation and we also have gravity in our case so drag this window somewhere here now define the gravity so as you can see here we are going to pour water from this side like this so in the direction of x type here the gravity 9.81 in the direction of x and in the direction of y it is 0 so from here this arrow defines the direction of gravity hit next reference axis is also x hit next and then define the flow fluid type so expand the liquids then scroll down and then double click on the button check this box cavitation and hit next then again hit next in this page you have to define the velocity so total height of water is 37 inch which is approximately 1 meter so we can calculate the uh, velocity by using the formula velocity is equal to under root 2 into gravity into water height so by calculating it we will get 4.4 meter per second velocity in the direction of x as our gravity was in the direction of x and here you can see this arrow then press finish button if you want me to uh, design your projects you can contact me uh, my contact details are also mentioned in the description of this video so now we have to um, edit computational domains so this box you can see here is known as com computational domains right click on it here and then add a definition then drag and reduce the size so this box actually uh, defines the area of flow Now press the space button and select this view orientation. So as you can see here water will enter from here and exit from this way. So we have to adjust it like this. Then so okay next step is that again press space button and select this view orientation now resize this uh, size so all done here you can see 
then press ok button from here so next step is that we have to define goals so right click on goals and insert global goals scroll down in uh, as we have uh, velocity in the direction of x so check this box and press ok button then right click on boundary conditions and select insert boundary conditions inlet mass flow and then select all these spaces this space this phase so we are go also going to uh, select the internal phase of uh, this part so for that right click on this part and then hide it now from here you can select internal phase again right, right click on it and then hide it now select this phase then you can unhide these parts by right, right clicking on them and then show again expand the assembly and right click on wicket gates and then show fully developed flow and what is the flow rate it is 2 kilograms per second so reference axis uh, is x and press ok button then right click on computational domain and hide it so uh, all done now right click on Kaplan turbine here the name of your project and then select run or you can also run the flow simulation from here so run the flow simulation and from here select uh, this computer and uh, use 4 CPU then run it will take a few minutes to uh, calculate the flow simulations so finally we had completed the uh, calculation on uh, flow simulation close this dialog or window then expand the results in the flow trajectories right click on it and select insert then from here starting points select pick from screen and uh, select this piece then select this button pick points and uh, press the space button and select this view orientation so these pick points are the start points of your flow trajectories drop these points like this so in the other words this is a uh, water which is going to flow from these points then scroll down uh, appearance of the flow, flow trajectories you can select lines then again scroll down width of the line 1 millimeter so here are the options uh, like pressure, temperature, velocity and the rest of the options you can select velocity so velocity in the direction of x then scroll down and press ok button so here you can see we had done the flow simulation on the Kaplan turbine this is the range of um, uh, the velocity you can adjust it so at the moment it is minus 19.9 uh, meters per second you can adjust it to 0 so from 0 up to so as we had 4.4 meter per second velocity maximum velocity so we can add 5 meter per second and then press ok button now let me change the transparency of this part then here you can see we had uh, approximately 4 meter per second velocity at this point and then at this point we had uh, um, minimum velocity so from here you can also see um, uh, the, so some of the water is also uh, moving toward outside or toward the bearings 
so here is the seal for this purpose to uh, prevent the leakage of um, water we can also switch between velocity and pressure so click on velocity here then select pressure and press ok button so at the moment pressure is in pascals and this is the range of the pressure so at the moment uh, velocity and range is from 0 up to 5 meter per second so uh, in the previous uh, velocity option we, we had uh, the velocity in the direction of x so at that moment we had minimum velocity in the direction of x now it is a general velocity and uh, let me change the transparency of these parts from here you can see how uh, the water is moving from the wicket gates and the runner So I hope you had enjoyed and learned from this video. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Thanks for watching and sparing time.